Okay, so today I want to talk about a fairly basic concept, and that is concatenating strings. How do you take multiple strings and combine them? That's what concatenation is. All right, I've got two strings here, one called greeting, one called name, and I want to combine them with a space in between them. I'm going to put that result into this other variable called str. Now, the most basic way to do concatenation is with the concatenation operator. And to do that, we just say our variable is going to be equal to the result of this variable plus this variable. Now, what happens when we do just that? We get exactly what you'd get for combining these things. So if I run this script, you can see both those words are stuck together. We need to have a space in between here. So to address that, we would use the concatenation operator twice. So this variable's value plus this string plus this variable. And then if you wanted to have punctuation at the end, we could do that as well. So comma, period, whatever you want to have. Run this again. There we are. So there's the space, there's the period, all of it together. Okay, so that's the most basic concatenation operator. The second way is with the concat method. So this is a method that belongs to every string object. We could say that the result is going to be, I'm going to take this string. I could have taken any of them, but I'm going to take this string right here. So greeting. Now, because that's a string, it means it has this method. That's what prototype means. It means that every string object has access to this method. So with greeting, I am going to concatenate. I'm going to add to it a space. Then I'm going to add whatever's inside of name. And then I'm going to add a period. So we'll clear this out, run it again. And there we are, the exact same result as we were getting before. So write it this way, writing it this way, we get the same value. And the third way of doing this is something that was added with ES6 or ES2015, and that is template strings. If you use backtick characters instead of the single or double quotes. So let's take a look at that one. So there's two backtick characters. Now this is a string, but the special thing about backtick character is, is I can be writing anything that I want, and if I wanted to stick a variable inside of here, I would add this, a dollar sign and then two curly braces. Inside of there, I put the name of the variable, like that. So this would write all this text and then the value of this variable. This is called interpolation, when you've got a variable that's being interpreted inside of a string. So in this case, I want greeting, and then I want a space, and then I want the variable name, its value, and then a period. So you write it the way you would write a normal string, as if you were just writing the text. It's just whenever there's a variable, you wrap these characters around it. Okay, so we'll take a look again, and we get the exact same result. And if you want to see all three of them together, just to be sure, so there's string, string one, string two, we've declared all three of them. So there's one and there's two. So all three variables, there they're assigned the values, and we'll write all three of them out. There we are. Howdy buzz, howdy buzz, howdy buzz. All of them showing up. And that's it. That is string concatenation. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.